Hello and welcome back to my walkthrough of Game of Thrones. I'm Jay Carter Ray and I'm with Ice for Ice again. Hey guys. And we're going to continue right where we left off. Let's see what's going on. It's tired. I guess they're just going to have like a, a little leisurely stroll through the woods. Make some bacon. Yeah, you must be hungry. <laughs> Oh, I can move now. Alright. <clears throat> Wait, can I kill that pig? Mm, I guess not. Oh, what's this? Blood! Fresh. Mm -mm. Interesting. This doesn't seem like the direction we should be going. Oh, but there's a dead pig. Maybe it's the pig's blood. But someone needs to kill the pig. Maybe the other pig did. And there's smoke. Which means there's fire. Just being the other pig didn't kill the pig. <laughs> pigs don't kill pigs. They must do. Pigs don't kill pigs. People Animals kill pigs. Animals fight too though. Yeah, but not pigs. Go on. Look at the car. See, look, someone rubbed the car. That's Father's car. Mm -mm. So he walks slowly to see what happened. Yeah, if you run, you're gonna like reveal your position, isn't it? Sneaking. Common, but at least still have his bacon. Okay, so they stealing pig. Try bacon. Go along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Get your father. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. He's here for the shit. Mm, sure Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. He must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off. My land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> he <laughs> <all> the buttons. <laughs> no. I'll have yeah, that no sword, chance. boy. Come get it, you bastard. You bastard. <laughs> All right. Finish no. this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Do it, do it! No, please! No, 
White Heel will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Maybe for sure the mercy you want to join the last night, though. Garrett! You survived! Your, your sister! She hid! I tried to stop them! No, but he killed my family. They didn't deserve no mercy. I don't get how he ran with his cot leg. Huh? He ran over to the dad. Adrenaline. I'll mercy. kill the men who did this. A bit late for adrenaline. How is it late for adrenaline? Because he should have got that at the beginning. But that's how you got the adrenaline by being in the fight. That's how you get adrenaline. He, no, by you get it before. To extreme yeah. situations. But you. He's more likely to get it before. He shouldn't have just got it after. No, you get it within it. Yeah, but it's too late to use it. When well, you got to hear his dad's last words. It's Garrett! Never useful. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! <sighs> Didn't even go find the sister. The sister was dead. She had a pole in her back. Garrett! Oh, I thought that was a log. <laughs> it was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Slap up dinner. <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers oh, no. and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? He's put maggots in it. Yeah, so get rid of your dead skin, I guess. Uh, Ugh, something. Oh. You want us to feel the wiggling? Imagine. Oh. Imagine. But that's what they did back in the day, though. Oh. <sighs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Let's go look at a chair. Yeah, he's got something interesting to say about it. 
Hmm. I guess not. <laughs> The Ironwood Grove. That's not very interesting either. That's enough walking. I don't need to see him look at any other inanimate object. <laughs> yeah, we're look at the tapestry. Nah, man. Just let me do what I go on. Um, Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who is the new Lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. He already told us this. You want to know who Ethan is? At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Is she your girlfriend? Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. What's all from that? Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The guy that died. The bravest oh, man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester sure would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? He said he if loved If you can remember. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Can he ask me to bring it to his uncle, though? No, that was a Don't message. Me. This was grow. our land. Oh. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. 
But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this will accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. But I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? Oh, no. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who would defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Not the wall, though. No, it's gonna be long. It's the we still need to tell to the. That settles it, then. Mm. Well, now he's out of the room. Hopefully, I can check. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Tell him, man. Stop him. What? Oh, fair enough. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and, and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. 
He's really not going to tell me what it is. Don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. It's North Grove, not the North Grave. Yeah, I said Grove. You said a grave in the north somewhere. I said a grave. Oh my days! When we watch this back, I'll have definitive <laughs> proof. No, I, I said am grave. From ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Such cheesy bastards. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be such a good two shoes. Because that doesn't work out well for guys in Game of Thrones. Obviously, if you have no power. No. Garrett, wait! It never works out. Oh, girlfriend wants it. You can keep that. <laughs> Be safe. Give us a necklace, but not any head. Not rude. I don't think it's very appropriate whilst he's sitting on a horse, leaving <laughs> the fucking. But we're place. leaving. We're gonna go to the wall. He didn't even ask for it. What is she supposed to do? Just whip out his dick and start sucking? Yeah. It makes no sense. Why is it a tree? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Guess so. Yeah, I guess we'll end the episode there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Check out my links below. I'll put both of our Twitters in there so you can follow us. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. I ain't ever been a clown, but if I phone around, I'll get white in my face for a damn fee. And I don't like too many niggas, but I tolerate niggas just as long as those niggas ain't around.